You know, I'm not seen in a shirt before. I couldn't wear it because I was too corpulent. Okay, so I thought I'd talk about the subject of celebrity meltdowns, or meltdowns in general. Uh, there's been talk about Amanda Bynes having a meltdown. Of course, we all remember last year, Charlie Sheen. And uh, it happens pretty regularly. Uh, weirdly, I think this is a good thing, sort of. There's a good side to it, and that's that it raises awareness of meltdowns in the public. And actually, I think that people are learning to react to them a little cooler than maybe we did you know, a decade or two ago. My personal rule of thumb is that everyone gets one free meltdown. I've already used mine about six years ago. Uh, some people never use their meltdown, and that's good, because that means there are extra meltdowns for those who need to use two. And then you have Lindsay Lohan, who is sort of hogging all the meltdowns. Of course, ordinary people have them too, and of, lots of people suffer from the younger sibling of the meltdown, the panic attack. What is the cause of them? Uh, something that you ate, or the fact that you need to eat? You need to poop, believe it or not. Sometimes it's stress, and of course, there's always that you've worked yourself up about something that's really not that big a deal. So if you ever do find yourself having a panic attack or, God forbid, a meltdown, you may want to go through a quick mental checklist, and I will help you with that. Ask yourself the following questions. Number one, is the IRS auditing me and I haven't paid my taxes in 10 years? If that's the case, then yes, it is appropriate to panic. If not, then relax. Number two. Is a guy shooting up my school? If so, then yes, you should panic. If not, then relax. Number three. Am I on an Airbus or a Boeing? If you find yourself on a plane that is spiraling toward the ground and the roof has ripped off, if it's a Boeing, relax. The pilot will save you. If it's an Airbus, say your prayers. I am not joking here. I work with some very brilliant engineers and I have personally clocked about 500 hours of airplane crash disaster TV watching. So I want you to live a long and prosperous life and this is why I'm pleading with you. Fly Boeing. Number four. Am I a neurobiologist with a big exam coming up? If so, then yes, you should panic. If not, relax. Checklist number five. Do I have a conjoined twin who is being a jerk to me? If so, then you can panic. If not, relax. Number six. Is Dr. Octopus attacking me on the outside of a speeding train? If so, you should panic. If not, relax. That is the exhaustive checklist of things that you need to be asking yourself. There are no other questions that I missed, but if none of those things are true, then you do really just need to relax. Just relax. Okay, well, now I have to go because I just realized that I have to watch Spider-Man 2 now. So, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ideas. I got a few.